103 students. It's Mr. Gallagher. Nice to see you. If anyone who is not a kindergartner at my school at Bryant this year, you're welcome to watch. Um, I'm going to be speaking to my kindergarten students who are newly arriving this year, fall 2021. But anyone is welcome to watch this because I know I have um, friends and fans from other places who might be watching. School's going to be starting very soon. And I thought it might be nice for us to work on a project together. What I'm going to ask you to do is to please get some pieces of paper. If you have colored paper, great. If not, I just got some plain white paper like this from the printer. Please ask for permission first. You know, check with dad's mom's caretakers, and nana's, grandma's, grandpa's, uncle Harry's, and see if it's okay to get some paper. I'm just using this kind of standard paper like this that comes with the printers by the computer. We're going to make a countdown project to count down until the beginning of school. School is starting. Brian, oh, here it is, Bryant Hawks. I'm wearing school colors today. I don't know if anyone told you or not. Our school, Bryant Elementary School in Seattle, has school colors. Red and silver. Can you see my silver pants here? There. Which really is kind of gray because it's hard to find clothes that are silver. But silver and red. And so I have a, a red hoodie. <clears throat> so I'm wearing that for today, for this first message. <clears throat> what we're going to do is to make a countdown chain. If you want to, it's optional. We'll make it today and then I'll send you another video about how we do the countdown. What you want to get is a piece of paper. When you hold it this way, it's called landscape, when it's wide across. If you hold it this way, with the tall part going up and down, that's called portrait. The orientation is landscape or portrait, and that's based around art and painting. But people talk about this screens, papers, and they talk about landscape or portrait. And I'm going to say, hold it portrait, your paper this way. If you need to pause the video while you go get supplies, you can do that. The things you will need today to make this are some pieces of paper. I think four pieces of paper like this would be plenty. If you have less, we can cut the paper in half. But I'm going to use four papers like this. I have a safe pair of scissors. Can you see that? It's very red here in my house and my shirt and my skin here. A pair of scissors, a glue stick, and some markers. Just probably two colors, or you can keep switching colors if you want to. I'm just going to use these two colors. Did he say two colors? I see your two colors shining through. I see your two colors. You know that song? It's pretty famous. Okay, so with this paper, I'm going to hold it this way, the up and down long ways, portrait, and I'm going to take the two long sides and make them touch each other. I'm holding it up, but if you hold it down on the table, it would be much easier. I'm going to fold it in half. So I had one big rectangle, and now I have two smaller rectangles. I'm going to go, and I'm going to do that again. I'm going to make the two long sides come near each other like this. Then when I open it, I will have how many rectangles? Flashing with fingers, how many do you think there will be when I open this paper? Oh, right, yeah, four. I saw you flashing four. Just like that. <clears throat> then, with your scissors safely, again, I'm holding it up, you can do it on the table, which would be not cutting the table, but putting the paper down on the table and cutting the paper safely. But I'll show you. I'm going to cut on the folds. So this one piece of paper is going to yield 
or give me four pieces of paper. One, two. And then I have four pieces of paper. And if this feels like it's too fast, take your time. Oh, hey, whoa, whoa. I just made a letter when I did that. Yeah. Um, you can pause the video and do this at the pace that works for you. So I have four pieces. I need a total of this many rectangles. Can you see and make your hands match mine? Five and five, ten. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do something this time to make it happen a little bit quicker, more efficient, more efficient. I'm going to take two papers. I see your two paper. I'm going to hold them together. Portrait, long ways. And I'm going to make the two long sides do the same thing as I did before. I'm going to make them touch each other. See how it goes like that? And then I'm going to fold this. Remember, I'm holding it up so you can see it with my camera. looks really red. If I need to fix something on my camera. <clears throat> and then I have the two long sides of the small rectangles. And yeah, you know, I'm going to take the two long sides and make them touch each other. Like this. And when I open them, my two pages are close together, and I didn't have to do the job twice. And now when I cut in the folds, I'm actually cutting through two pieces of paper, like this. And then when the rectangle falls off, there's two of them. So, in school sometimes we count by twos, so Two, four, six, eight. We just cut eight rectangles <clears throat> efficiently because they were together and folded and cut together. So I have eight plus, that's a math word, plus four more. So I have eight, nine, this is the ones I cut before. Nine, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think we'll use all of them. I just changed my mind. Okay. Now, first one. Hold it this way, the long ways. I have a board here to just, I'm just putting this board down when I'm working. On this one, this way, please pick a color marker you like. I'm going to use green. And please write your name. I'm going to write the word name. But unless your name is name, don't do this. But please write your name on the first piece of paper. Landscape-wise, see how that would be portrait. That would be too, too tight. Landscape-wise, you have a lot of space to write your name. And then, just put that on the side. Okay? <clears throat> Please get another piece of paper here like this and then <clears throat> I'll hold this up so you can see it but you can just do it when it's flat on the table please pick a color <clears throat> I 
and please write the numeral 10. There are rhymes we use at school to learn how to print and write the numerals the kindergarten way. You might have learned a different way how to write or print these in pre-K or preschool or with your grandma um, or grandpa. <clears throat> but this is the way we do it at school. We start things at the top. When you want to write a number, start at the top. When you want to write a number, start at the top. When you want to write a number, then you better, better, better start your number at the top. So the numeral 10 has a 1, straight line down. Then around with the grin, that's the way to make a 10. Kind of rhymes close, but not exactly. And then, leave a little bit of space, like a finger's worth of space, and then please make another 10. And a little bit of space, and make another 10. I can fit about three tens on this paper, like there, like that, without crowding them. Can, can you show me yours? Okay. Okay, now, if you have your glue stick nearby, that would be something good. Now, what we're going to do first is take your name paper, bring that back, and then <clears throat> kind of this a new one, so it's a little bit sticking to you. glue stick that sticks doing its job. Over here, after my name, I'm going to put some glue right there. Next to my name, over here at the end. And then, I'm going to take this, and as best I can, I'm going to bring it around to make a loop. Have you ever done that with paper before? Make a loop like that. And what we do in school, to be sure something sticks, is we press and slowly count to 10 while we're pressing down to be sure the glue is holding the two papers together. So one, not hurrying, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you have a loop with your name on it like that. Now, do this part carefully. Don't make the 10 loop yet. You want to put it through, through your name loop, and then put some glue over there by the last 10. And hold that up here, so like that. And put some glue over here at the last 10, like that. And then, yeah, okay, and then the same thing. Carefully roll the paper so the 10 now makes a loop. And I'm going to press and slowly count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Because I'm in no rush, I want to be sure that these are sticking together. So now I have the beginnings of my loop. I have my name one, and then I have the 10 one. I'm going to get another paper and holding it this way. I'm going to get my marker. I'm going to use black because it's really easy to see, but you can use marker or crayon, whatever you want. I'm counting down from 10. Nine. It sounds like this. Remember at the top. A loop. And the line, that makes nine. I'm going to leave some space. A loop and the line, that makes nine. A loop and the line, that makes nine. See how that looks? Three of them is a good amount. If you can fit more, feel free. Okay. Read my mind. What am I going to tell you?
to do that. Really? Yes, of course! We figured out my pattern. I'm going to take glue and put a little bit of glue at the end of the paper where the last nine is. Then I'm going to, not through the name loop, but through the ten loop, I'm going to push this through and then make the front and the back touch each other and press and slowly count to ten. One, two, three, I'm pressing the whole time. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, I wonder what number is going to come next. Okay, take another paper, put it on your desk or so. The next number, this one can be a little bit tricky to write, so if this feels challenging, do the best you can, because I think this might be the most challenging numeral to write. What are the ones we learn? Yeah, okay. And what we say at kindergarten is, Make an S, but do not wait. Go back up and close the gate. See how we did that? There's no, uh, some space in between. Make an S, but do not wait. Go back up and close the gate. See how that looks? If you make your aid a different way, do what you know best, and then we'll show you how to switch to the kindergarten eight. I'm leaving space. I'm trying to make an S, but do not wait. Go back up and close the gate. I made three of them. That seems like plenty. But if you want to make more for practice, go ahead. Snap cap. And then you figured out. After my last eight, not a ton of glue. Some glue just by the edge. And then, I'm not making my loop yet. I need to put it through number nine. Okay. And then folding it. No, no, that's not the right word. I'm rolling it, not folding it. And then, you know, I slow count while I press one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Name ten, nine, eight. You know what comes in. Landscape position. And here's what we do with this one. Right? You know we're going to do seven. Walking along the cliff and slide down. Okay? And then some space. Right? You know this one. Walking along the cliff and slide down. Some space. Walking along the cliff and slide down. Seven. <clears throat> and, snap cap. Some glue by the end after the seven. I don't make my loop yet. And I put it through number eight because I'm counting down. Whoa, hello. And then making them touch. Slow whisper count to ten. Next one. This one sounds like this. Stick and a hoop, do the tricks, 
That's the way to make a six. Stick and a hoop do the tricks. That's the way to make a six. <clears throat> Same thing. Some glue by the end. And I want to be careful not to take up too much of your time today, so if I'm moving quickly for you, you can just stop the tape at any point and finish what you're doing. Same thing. Whisper count to 10. Ooh, I need a little bit more glue on that one. Didn't put enough. My six and holding. Pressing. That's better. Oh yeah, that's better. Next one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Five is straight back, big belly, flat hat. Straight back, big belly, flat hat. Straight back, big belly, flat hat. See how that goes? Okay, and then you know, oops, snap cap. So it doesn't dry out and get wasted. Glue at the end. See the glue in there? It's a little bit shiny. Number five goes through the number six. I roll it. Slow count. Two, ten. Looking good. Another one. Listen to this one. Down and over and down once more. That's the way to make a four. Leaving some space. Down and over and down once more. That's the way to make a four. Down and over and down once more. That's the way to make a four. Some glue. You probably have figured out the pattern of how we're doing this. Carefully write the numeral three times. Some glue at the end. Loop it through. Press and slow count in your head or whisper out loud to 10. In class, we usually whisper out loud. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Checking it. Ooh, only a couple of numerals left. Hey, this time it's three threes. Around a tree, around a tree, that's the way to make a three. Right? In space, going to the middle. Around a tree, around a tree, that's the way to make a three. Three threes, and then one over here. Around a tree, around a tree, that's the way to make a three. Ready? Snap cut. I need to roll my glue. You know, I'm just rolling up just a little bit so it doesn't get wasted. If you roll it up too much, <clears throat> it gets wasted. And then some glue over here, you know, after the three. You know, and then <clears throat> get your loop. Find numeral four. <clears throat> roll it. Press it and slow count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And next one. Landscape. This numeral 
rhyme sounds like this. Around and back on the railroad track. Two, 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 two. See, instead of choo choo, it's two, two. But they rhyme, choo choo. Space in the middle. Around and back on the railroad track. Two, 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 two. And there's two twos right now. One more. Around and back on the railroad track. Two, two. Two, two. Ooh, glue and two rhyme. You know, rhyming words are words that have the same ending sound, like glue and two, and you, and stew, and moo, and few. Stop me. And then I'm going to put this through the three loop and then slow count to ten. Two. Three. Oh, I need more glue on this. That's not enough. It's kind of sticking out. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last one. Oh, this numeral's gonna hurt. Writing this numeral makes people cry sometimes. You believe that one? I don't believe that one. Here it is. Straight line down, then we're done. That's the way to make a one. Right? Because it's just a straight line. Straight line down, then we're done. That's the way to make a one. Because that's it. That was a little lumpy, though. I don't think that's so good. When we make something class that we don't like, we don't waste time and erasing it. We just put an X on it. And then we don't even look at it. I don't look at it if it has an X on it. That one's kind of wonky. <clears throat> so I'm going to make another one. Straight line down, then we're done. That's the way to make a one. And that one I made better than the first one. The first one looked like a straw that was bent. Last one. Straight line down, then we're done. That's the way to make a one. Snap cap. Two comes in, row, press, slow count. One left. You can do whatever you want with this paper. If you'd like to make one more that says zero, you can do that. If you'd like to make one more that has a picture on it, like a rainbow or hearts, you can do that. Or write your name again. Or ignore it. <clears throat> For our project, we need name. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Snap capped. I'm going to bring my glue down and close that. Oh, that snaps too. <clears throat> Keep this nearby. Tomorrow, I'll send you and your family another video um, with instructions on how we will proceed. This is what you need. Again, no rush. If you needed to pause the video and take your time, this is what it looks like at the end. Countdown chain, like that. And then put this someplace where you can find it. If you took more paper than you need, please replace it. If you're going to not use that scrap, please put it someplace or recycle it. And then put your property away. Your marker, your glue stick, your scissors, back where you keep things. Mine are in a big basket right here. All my stuff. And then you'll be set. Thanks, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye now.